Welcome back to Live Free TV. This is Sarah, Live Free Warrior. It's a 10 minute yoga sequence to do ideally after your run. Go ahead and find a downward facing dog. You don't need a mat, but it certainly does help. Start to pedal those legs out, bending one knee, bending the other. Press down through the palms, lift your hips up towards the sky. And just moving and gently awakening the back of the legs. Extending the spine, butt towards the sky. Focus here is a flat back. So always keep that in mind when you're down dog. Step the right foot forward between the hands, come into a high lunge. So that left knee is lifted, right knee over the right ankle. We're gonna side bend, grab that left wrist with your right hand, lift up and then go over to the right side. Charge back through that left heel, open up the front left hip. Here's your next inhale, come back to center. Opening up the chest, cactus the arms, take the elbows back, engage the upper back. Next inhale, lower the hands down towards the floor, step back, downward facing dog. Switching to the other side. So you're gonna step the left foot between the hands. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Right knee is lifted, arms reach up overhead. Side bending, grab the right wrist with your left hand now, lift up and over to the left. Keep a bend in that left knee, breathing. And then inhaling, come on back to center. Once again, cactus arms. Open up the chest, hands lower down towards the floor, step on back, downward facing dog. Better those legs out once again. Inhale, shift forward to a plank. And you're gonna lower the knees down towards the mat, low push up. Stay in a cobra, bent elbows, and move to the right, and then shift over towards the left. You're opening up the hip flexors once again. Press back, tabletop, to downward facing dog. Right leg lifts high, three-legged dog as you bend the right knee. Shoulders stay level here, reach your right knee up towards the sky. And then bring right knee to right elbow, quietly step the foot outside the hand. Okay, in a lizard lunge, keep the hips elevated and level. Press back through the left heel. Work into a twist, reach the right arm up to the sky. Stacking shoulders, chest is open. Gaze where feels best in your neck. Take your right hand back down towards the mat, downward facing dog. Left leg high, inhale, three-legged dog, left knee towards the sky. And then bring left knee to left elbow, quietly stepping the foot outside the hand. Again, back in that runner's lizard stretch. Twisting, right hand grounds, left arm extends high. You want to engage the upper back here, keeping the chest open, breath long. Lower that left hand down towards the mat, step it on back, downward facing dog. Shift to a plank, take the knees down, low push up, this time upward facing dog. Your toes can be tucked if you have sneaks. Lift up and back, downward facing dog. your feet together, right leg high in the inhale. And as you step right foot between the hands, come into a low lunge, back knee down. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Back bending, lift up through the chest, take it on back. Now as you work into a half split, move the left knee back a couple inches. Your hips stack over the left knee. Position yourself that way first. Inhale to a long spine, flat back. That's the most important part. And then fold to where you can, keeping that long spine. I like to curl my right toes up towards my shin in this one. Adds a little extra oomph. Continue to breathe. And we ground the right foot to the floor. Right, half move. To a quad stretch. So right hand is down towards the floor, bend the left knee and bring the heel to your outer left hip.
and lower that left foot down to meet the right. And simply step the right foot back, come into a low lunge. Right knee down, inhale, arms up overhead. Back bending into that half split. So move the right knee back a couple inches. Extend through the left leg. Position, hips over the right knee. And then breathing here. Spine is long. Breath is long. Same with the quad stretch. Rebend the left knee, plant the foot. Take the left hand down towards the floor. As you're balancing, bring that right heel to your outer right hip. Charge the right knee back behind you, stretching out your quad. And lower your right foot down to meet the left. You're gonna bend the knees, come into a seated squat. The toes are tucked here. Right? Intentionally, you're stretching the soles of your feet. Keep breathing with me on this one. And let's come on out of that. Untuck the toes. You're going to come to seated any graceful way that you'd like. Take the soles of your feet together, knees come out wide. Kanasana. Keep a long spine. Inhale. And exhale. Fold to where you can. Imagine the knees pressing outward. Press the soles of your feet together to assist in that. Maybe use the elbows to draw your knees a little closer towards the floor. Once again, keep that spine long. Come on out. You're going to lower all the way down towards the floor. Setting up in a bridge pose. So as you bend the knees, place the soles of the feet to the floor, root down through the heels, the balls of the feet, and lift those hips. Wiggle shoulders side to side, working them under, maybe interlace the hands. Keep the gaze up towards the ceiling or the sky. Keep working the engagement in the upper back. Lower your way back down towards the mat. Hug those knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side. Coming into a reclining pigeon, cross your right ankle over your left knee. Weave your hands through that space of your legs, grab the back of your left thigh. On an active reclining pigeon, draw the right knee forward. Keep the right foot flexed. Maybe draw it in closer. And simply switch. Cross the left ankle over your right knee. Notice if one side feels a little easier than the other, and that's really pretty normal. Keep breathing. Shoulders, head relax to the floor. And then extend both of your legs up towards the sky. Flex the feet. Keep your butt grounded to the floor. And then as a bonus, you can run your hands down the side of your legs, drawing the blood, assisting the blood back down. It's like a little massage for yourself. I like to work the hands down the calves to the thighs. And then keep charging those legs up towards the ceiling, reversing the blood flow. You can pause the video and do this for as long as you'd like. Five minutes is optimal, but for the sake of this video, we'll keep it a little bit shorter. And most important, continue to breathe here. Go ahead and hug those knees in towards your chest. Rock on up to a seated position. You're gonna twist, cross your right ankle over your left leg. Inhale, lift up tall through the spine. And use the exhale to twist, bringing your spine out. Counter twist to the left. And simply switch sides. Right arm up, hooking over the knee. And twist. Breathe. Counter twist, exhale. 
come back to center, unravel those legs, press down through the palms, open the chest on up. Thanks for practicing with me in this 10 minute yoga for runners sequence flow. My name is Sarah, Live Free Warrior. You only fail when you stop trying. So keep pressing forward, warriors. 